rolling. Zero pence here. Now, on the floor is a green top. And that's because I'm about to show you the tent that fits into this gear here. And the reason for that is because I got a piece of kit from Mac Tightwad, a pouch, and I'm going to show you just how easy it makes my life. And uh, I think you'll appreciate this. Now, here's the tent and the outside working area. It's not pegged down yet. And this is the little vent. It's got to go on the top there, where that tie is. And once that's done, I'll bring you back. And there we have the vent on the top. And it just stretches to these little pieces on the side there. You can do it either way you like, really, over the back or over the front. But it likes just a, a square of material and it gives you that vent but you can see it is a really nice little tent and so simple to put out and that's what I need now there is the front of the tent and as you can see the bug net and silver sided covering And the ground sheet is very important because it is very flimsy inside there. I know it's quite tough, the, the stuff is quite tough, but hey, I ain't taking any chances. And considering that the, the green top fits in my bag, don't even know it's there. So, but it's nearly as heavy as the tent. <laughs> And that's including the poles. Uh, but I just afford myself a little bit of a luxury because I want to work in the area out, so out front anyway. But there it is. As you can see, quite a nice little bit of kit. And uh, very pleased with it. But as I say, it comes in that black bag that you saw at the beginning. And... Uh, yeah, and what this little pouch has, has done for this here is amazing. So, without further ado, I'm going to take it down and put it back with the aid of Max Pouch into my setup over there and show you this. And it, it don't take a couple of seconds to um, uh, to take down. Now, as you can see, I've taken the little cloth off the top there, the vent cover, and I placed it, rolled it up nice and neat, and placed it in with the four tent pegs. So that's the little bag number one. And this will show you what I'm going to do with the rest of the tent. Remembering this bag. There he is. The poles. Two sets of poles there. They're going to uh, go into the bag in a moment. And there's the tent down and finished, and the ground sheet. Fold them up and put them away. I'll show you what I'm getting at. Now, there's the top folded up and back in where it is with me folding frying pan and 
two plates and the handles and everything for the folding frying pan are in a little pouch inside the frying pan so that makes it nice and easy there and getting to this pouch here it's open ended with velcro fasteners it's absolutely brilliant what you're going to do as you can see just shove them in there like so I don't even have to take it off the great thing is I don't even have to take it off the strap push that in there it's lovely and then take this little bag and tease that in there as well so that's all the poles and the little bag all gone in there and then just give that a little push So that's sealed up, and there it is across the top of the bag. Now, what about this tent? You might say. Well, now I'm going to show you where the tent is going to go, and the tent over there is going into this pouch, which is a water bottle pouch. Uh, my chopping balls in there. That's staying in there, and that will give a bit of stiffness to the front for me to push against to get the tent that's over there in there well there it is all together and the tent is in here like I said do that. Velcro, and there is the tent, and it fits in there just right. And it's not even particularly rammed in there either. It's uh, it's quite a loose fit. You see, it's still loose. So I'm happy with that. So that's everything away. You remember the bag that you all came in and the size it was where it is now for the sake of a pouch it was made by Mac for me and you see it's got like the fasteners on the back and I've run the straps through it so that it's not going to uh, fall off uh, but it's, it's so nice I could have just trapped it under the handles and it would have been there but that, that's an extra point of contact this kit, I've got everything in there, and I mean from a sleeping bag to a, a cook kit. My cook kit is in that end, down there. Oh, oh, and there it is, the Stanley pot. And I'll tell you what, I've had some bits of kit over the time. And to tell you the truth, that is the best bit of kit for two people to go out, you and your mate. If you go out on the on the back roads and that, and decide to have a little bit of a little bit of a uh, brew everything's there and as I say there's an Ikea stove hobo stove in there as well so it's here there's also a little tin plate from mixing and cutting some stuff on and also you saw in the pouch over here that slipped down the back of the tent is a small chopping board as well and I have my knives and everything else in there as well <laughs> don't we all so here you are. Here's the bag. It's the back of it. That's the front of it. And I'm not the strongest man in the world, as everybody knows, but that that isn't heavy. Not heavy at all. And it's full of the kit that you need. So here we go. Excuse the shaking on this, it's getting worse. I'm gonna to have to get a tripod and just work from a tripod from from now on, but to do something like this, I'll just carry on until I can't do it anymore. There you are. One K.
kit with the pouch that was very kindly given to me by Mac and made by Mac as well. It's really, really a nice bit of kit and that's all it is. <laughs> and you see how much it goes into it. I'm so pleased with that. It makes me it makes me smile <laughs> that I know how much is in there. <laughs> so I might show an exploded view and have it all out all over the garden one day but but not today. Anyway, zero pence. Thanks for watching. Catch you later.